traders hi I just want to make this video because I'm not going to be able to make a update video tomorrow morning I've got a few things on and look I just want to touch base on how my USD yen trades going also look Wednesday night Thursday night are you know when plays present themselves if they're going to present themselves for the week for me so USD yen as you can see hovering around entry level you, you're probably thinking to yourself Scott you know what possesses you to just keep holding this trade and that's my method so I have to stop loss there it really is pretty much a set and forget the only time I'll come in is when I might move a stop loss to break even just above break even and take in consideration the spread so I if this gets to you know around forty dollars maybe a little less maybe 35 which would be about 75 to 80 percent to a, a 1R based on where you know the stop loss is so it's going to get above 114 really and then I, I'll move it then I might you know take you know a um, a discretionary move on this but you know 90% of the time I'll just let this go and I won't interfere with the trade Euro USD I want to touch upon so if anything was going to happen now is when it would and it hasn't um, you know this is still a down you know you know move with with where the moving averages are positioned so currently it's either going to be choppy and when I mean choppy it's just going to be like this you know up down up down and you know it will be consolidating is another term for it a trading term so I won't be playing this USD can uh, you know not bad I mean it's uptrending but again I don't want to be too uh, USD focused pound interesting um, it's interesting but that 55 they need to be below the 200 so I think I touched upon that early today it's a bit of a big day USD Swiss this is just out of curiosity that's not too bad but again like I said I if the USD weakens it's going to mean you know I'm vulnerable to having two losing trades on the books so you try and avoid that if you can uh, New Zealand it's a little bit too flat you see what I mean I need to see it break a little bit more below these lows here below you know like 71.3 needs to go a little bit lower 71 flat and I'd be keen on a trade there Aussie Dom Aussie Dom I will be able to make an update on my Instagram guys if you don't follow me on Instagram already it's Scotty's trading exactly the same as my YouTube channel name and if it says you know there's no one else Scotty's trading but I'm Scott Andrews as well if it comes up as that and my profile picture is the same as my YouTube profile picture and Aussie dollar found a little bit of strength actually so um, no I guess there were no real surprises with the interest rate decision yesterday but by the RBA as well to hold rates and they weren't really talking much about when they were going to do things so that's it guys I'm going to end the video USD yen is not chugging along it's just there it's just there so thank you for watching guys i'll update this upload it straight away and happy trading bye